Item number SCP-3006 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Online video distribution sites impacted by SCP-3006 are to be monitored by Foundation web crawlers. Manifestations of videos containing SCP-3006 are to be removed upon posting and or detection. Foundation personnel embedded in the Alphabet Corporation are to ensure that no members of the public are able to view SCP-3006. It is estimated that, without proper implementation of the containment procedures, that most videos on the global public internet would be affected within 128 hours. The Foundation has not found any ways to prevent additional SCP-3006 videos from being posted. No other SCP objects are to be referred to in the documentation. Description. SCP-3006 is a video titled, We are number one except every time you play it, there are twice as many Robbie Rottens, but the room is the same size, not safe for work, which was posted to the YouTube video hosting service on October 12, 2016. It features a musical clip from the show Lazy Town that, on repeated playbacks, caused a number of humanoids identical to Stefan Carl Stephenson to appear. Videos impacted by SCP-3006 are capable of spreading their effects, primarily by being posted in threads where multiple non-effective videos are present. Within one to five minutes of being linked to, all other videos linked in the same thread will begin manifesting SCP-3006's effect. Humans or living humanoids featured in the video will double with each playback, including individuals who are off-screen such as cameramen and sound personnel. The effect is exponential in that, upon each playback, the number of subjects in each video doubles. For example, a video containing two subjects will instead have four upon the second playback, the third would have eight, and the fifth, thirty-two. None of these entities appear to have knowledge of SCP-3006's effect, and find it highly distressing. Although affecting linked videos, SCP-3006's effect is unique to each viewer. That is, SCP-3006's effect is dependent on how many times the individual has watched the video. If more than one subject is viewing it, this effect will occur based on who physically activated the video. If the subject views a series of videos, the effect will also carry over to the next one. SCP-3006 primarily appears to affect videos taking place in enclosed environments, although this cannot be confirmed as a deliberate effect. Once affected by SCP-3006, it is not possible for recorded subjects to exit the area in which the video is taking place. At a certain point, affected subjects will begin perishing due to overheating, exposure, or crushing force from exponential humanoids instantaneously appearing at the beginning of video playback. This does not prevent SCP-3006's effect from persisting. Eventually, playback reaches a point where the camera and sound equipment are destroyed due to intense viscera pressure in the enclosed space. At this time, the appearance of the video is variable, with non-anomalous graphics spliced with corrupted digital images. SCP-3006 was initially discovered after social media reports of unusual videos came to Foundation attention. 11,346 individuals who viewed the first anomalous instance of SCP-3006 were tracked down and given Class C amnestics. After interrogation, several subjects featured in the initial video were determined to be non-anomalous and were given Class B amnestics. As of January 18, 2017, SCP-3006 is classified as Euclid. Addendum: Examples of affected videos Title Video Description SCP-3006 Effect Colin Furs Title So what if loads of fireworks exploded in my van? Video Description A full-sized van is filled with fireworks, which are then lit to destroy the vehicle. Notes During the second playback, it was initially unclear where additional humanoid entities were. However, analysis showed that human hands were visible against the windows of the vehicle as the fireworks were going off. None of the other subjects featured in the video appeared to notice and playback continues as normal. Mystery Science Theater 3000 Title, Mystery Science Theater, Manos Hands of Fate Free, Manos, The Hands of Fate Video Description An illegal upload of the January 30, 1993 episode of the television show Mystery Science Theater 3000, which features low-budget films and humorous commentary. Film attached to episodes of the 1966 film Manos, The Hands of Fate SCP-3006 Effect Due to the metallic nature of the puppets, after twelve playbacks, there were several hundred copies of the host being impaled by the metallic implements created when the puppets fell apart. 
In addition, the film being riffed on had the actors appearing exponentially, with leg braces worn by one character causing fatal amounts of puncture wounds in the other actors. Game Grumps Title, Dudes with Attitude in a Not-Too-Distant Future Part 1 Video Description Two adult males play a video game, with footage from the game and only sound produced in the recording space being audible. SCP-3006 Effect Neither of the hosts appear to be aware of the imminence of SCP-3006. Episode proceeds normally. Title: Dudes with Attitude, That's No Moon, Part 2 Number of Entities Present, 4 Note, Subjects display confusion and argue for the entirety of the episode. Several attempts to exit the recording area can be heard, all of which are unsuccessful. Title: Dudes with Attitude, Scotty Doesn't Know, Part 3 Number of Entities Present, 6 Note, subjects become aware of the anomalous effect. The sounds of violence can be heard, with at least one of the entities appearing to be terminated. This does not appear to have affected the number of entities present in subsequent videos. Title, Dudes with Attitude, Wait, Is This Real? Part 4 Number of entities present, 24 Note, mass confusion can be heard. The game is completely ignored from this point on, with graphics not advancing past any title screen. In the background, subjects appear to have organized and only speak when holding a magic stick. During the course of a debate, it is decided to store soiled clothing in a basket and rationing a food of water while they attempt to exit the recording area. Several outbreaks of violence are suppressed by the other entities. Slightly before the end of the video, the sound of a sofa being used as a battering ram can be heard. Title, Dune Buggy Hot Sand Massage Part 11 Number of Entities Present 576 Notes Continue with incomprehensible screaming Title Please oh please why does this always happen to me Part 77 Number of entities present Estimated 500,000 Notes Sound of gentle sloshing with scrambled reddish digitized video graphics Addendum Transcript of Interview 3006-J Video redacted Interviewed Interviewer, Dr. Krang. Forward. On February 14, 2017, another video producer discovered several of their videos affected by SCP-3006. This transcription is for an iteration of the interview. The original has been lost or may never have existed. Begin log. Can you state your name for the record and spell it? Sure. <laughs> Kinda like a newspaper interview, I guess. I'm. But you already knew that, right? When did you first become aware of the videos? Someone linked it to me on Twitter, I think. It's weird, seeing people you know get fucked up like that. You feel bad, but they're just little computer people, right? So not really a big deal. That's what I thought, at least. How long did it take for you to discover the videos you were featured in? Yeah, well, you know, it was one of the suggested videos. God. Dude, I… I just… It's not something I want to describe, so I tried reporting it and now I'm here with you guys. How many times did you watch the video? I don't know. At a certain point you lose track because it's funny, right? It's weird seeing a ton of yourself. I didn't know what else to do there, to be perfectly honest. What do you mean? Well, it's just… Uh, I don't know why I went. Felt like… You ever do something and then when you're done you don't even know why you did it? That's what it felt like. Almost like it was a dream or something. What were you expecting to happen? From what they told me, well, they said it'd be like they were in there with each other forever. But it's not a them, it's me. There were thousands of me, and they're dead now. Crushed. Viscera Puri. One of the eyes floated by and I saw myself in it. Dude, that's fucked. At this point, both the interviewer and interviewee become aware of several humanoids identical to themselves present in a room, standing around the edges. Jesus! Several iterations of Dr. Krang immediately attempt to exit the room, but are unsuccessful. All instances begin fighting one another, while the copies of congregate in the opposite side of the room around the original interviewee, covering their faces with their hands. Get away! Stop! Help! Copies of begin violently ripping flesh and skin off of them, while copies of Dr. Krang do the same. This violence continues until there are only one iteration of each left. It is unknown whether or not these are the originals. Video playback ends, with both attempting unsuccessfully to exit the interview area.
End log. Closing statement. Subject was issued Class C amnestics at the interview. The SCP-3006 anomaly continues to persist, and several other instances of SCP-3006 have been subsequently documented in Foundation video archives. Classification upgrade to Keter is under consideration.